AI is still evolving and we need to make sure that there are guardrails and controls in place. And that's where human in the loop comes in place. Human in the loop is the key aspect to keeping AI responsible and with an empathy. I think fundamentally the driving ambition for lateral care has always been, can we actually help the providers do better care? How do we do that? And that's one of the reasons why we actually named it lateral care. We want to take out all of the tasks that are not primary to them, specifically about billing and denials and all of those things, where they could use that time to actually improve the care. So our goal is to see how best we can help the providers to improve the care they provide. Hi, my name is Chris Joyner. I'm Chief Revenue Officer at Lateral Care. I have about 38 years of revenue cycle experience and mostly hospital turnarounds has been my focus. When I had the opportunity to work with the AI component and see the automation, I realized how transformational that is and what the future of healthcare should be. We advocate the system making recommendations and then having humans audit those recommendations. There are reasons for that. We wanna make sure that there is an audit component. Somebody's checking its work. And secondly, we wanna make sure that it's always correct. And if it's not, we're re-educating the software. From day one, when we started going about building lateral care and the product revenue ally, security was utmost importance for us. Two things that we did that's quite different. One, we created the product so that we can deploy it in the customer's instance of the cloud, which means that automatically all of their security policies will apply immediately. The second most important thing in that model, the data is not exfiltrated, which means the data stays within the customer's environment. By using AI, we found that productivity goes up 400%, which is very impressive. So it takes the daily tasks, the redundant and mundane functionality off the employees. So job satisfaction goes up, employee retention happens, and people have the opportunity to elevate themselves to new roles. Over time, we also find that it's faster and quicker. And so we're getting cash in the door quicker, which is obviously a priority for CFOs and staff. Transparency is the biggest problem that we have in the revenue cycle space, whether you're a coder or you're an RCM specialist. Being able to understand the dependencies from other people and the information that they put through, that is the unlocking secret. So for a coder, the UX has to be about speed. It also has to be kind of uncovering what actually was documented and what is missing in the documentation. And throughout every aspect of our product, we are measuring adoption by the way the person utilizes the system. You need to understand that if you're not using AI, you are already behind. AI is not an if, it's a must. The time is now, the capability is available, why not use it? Give them back their time, the providers their time, so that they can focus on the care while we can bring in AI responsibly to actually automate all of their tasks because they do need to get paid for what are the service that they are providing. And that's what Revenue Ally focuses on. It's free up the time for the providers to focus on the patients and provide the right care.